present here. I am Jay Krishnan. Today we are going to see a topic on minimal cover. A problem minimal cover. So in this, they will be giving a two thing. One is relation. So the relation R is having a value A, B, C, D, E. And along with this, they will be giving a functional dependency. So in this functional dependency, A determinant D, B, C determinant A, D, C determinant B, E determinant A and E determinant D. In this problem, we need to follow three important steps. The first step, we have to make sure uh, the singleton right hand value. Like for example, the given functional dependency, we have to make sure it should have only a singleton right hand side. If it is not there, we need to decompose. The second steps we need to follow, there should be no extraneous attribute on left hand side. And third one, redundant functional dependency. So we will see the problem one by one. So as for the first steps, we have to just look at the functional dependency. In this case, A determinant D, there is no issue. C determinant B, there is no issue. E determinant E and E determinant T. But if you look at into this particular thing, B C determinant A D. So in this side, the right hand side is having more than one attribute. If you get such a thing what you need to do you need to use a decomposition rule and we need to break it into two format so this will come into two concepts one is bc determinant a and bc determinant t so this is the thing so after that if you look at into this thing everything will be a common no issue with it so once you did the modification just make a changes on the functional dependencies so now the new functional dependency will have a determinant D, uh, B C determinant A, B C determinant D, C determinant B, uh, then E determinant A, then E determinant D. So as per the first step is over. Now we need to check the second steps. So if you look at into the new modified functional dependency, we need to just ask scan on this. So if you look at into this, so the first one it's having only one extraneous attribute is nothing but it should have more than one attribute if something is there we need to decompose that or we need to do some other methods so if you scan the functional dependency the modified thing a determinant d it's no issue then other thing and no issue but if you consider these two things i have the following problem so what we need to do this please uh, careful so here bc determinant a is the first one so when you get this concept we need to divide this we need to find out the b closure and we need to find out the c closure for a given task so if you need to find out the b closure as per the reflexivity rule it will give b so no issue then we need to just scan this particular thing whether b is determining anything else so b is not determining anything so only the b closure b alone will get then we need to check into the next one C closure as per the reflexivity rule the C closure will give us C then just scan all the thing whether C is determining anything yeah C determinant um, B then uh, C determinant any other thing mm. no pass determinant B then BC put together it is determining A and BC put together it is getting D so from this what we can see the B closure is not determining anything but the C from the C we are able to get the value B so what we can do we can eliminate B from this so this BC determinant A functional dependency will change it as C determinant A then similarly take the another one BC determinant D so here we need to find out two things B closure and C closure so as per reflexivity rule B will give only B when C closure function what is it? C will give C then C determinant uh, then C determinant B BC determinant D and BC determinant A so here also without uh, with the help of C closure we are able to derive B so what we can do from this shortcut method what we can do we can eliminate B so this particular thing will change it as C determinant D so now the new functional dependency will arrive A determinant D and then C determinant A 
C determinant D, then C determinant B, and then E determinant A, E determinant D. Then the third rule we need to check there should be no redundant functional attributes. So the no redundant functional attribute what we need to know? We need to take one by one the functional dependency. The first one A determinant B uh, we need to take out. In this what we need to find out? We need to find out the A closure. From A if you are able to derive this D so then we can eliminate this particular thing. So what we need to do for example we need to find out the A closure. In this case uh, we should not take the current functional dependency then we need to scan every other thing if without this function we are able to get the right hand side means we can eliminate the redundant variable so we just check as per the reflexity rule a will give a then we need to check whether a is determining any other value no a is not determining any value so we cannot eliminate this thing similarly we need to take the second functional dependency that is uh, C determinant A so as per this rule we should not take this one uh, so as per reflexivity rule uh, we will be getting C then uh, we need to do another check so C is determining uh, D then from C we are able to get B and from B we are not able to get anything else so C determinant also we cannot eliminate the third one we need to take the variable called c determinant d functional attributes so in this case we need to check the c closure so the c will determinant c then we need to check c will determinant b then then what else um, b excuse pass in this case uh, c determinant we need to find out the c closure so c will determinant uh, as per reflexivity it will get c then c will determinant b c will determinant a and a will determinant d so from this without taking this particular thing we are able to get the right answer so this redundant variable we can eliminate then the next uh, functional dependency c determinant uh, b so we need to find out the C closure so as per uh, the rule C will give C then it will determinant A then it will determinant D then if you check it won't give any other things then we need to take the another one E determinant A so here we need to find out the E closure so in E closure as per reflexivity you get E from E you will get D from D we are not able to get anything else so we cannot eliminate this particular thing the final functional dependency will be E determinant D so we need to find out this so as per reflexivity rule we will be getting E then uh, E will determinant A A will determinant D then we need to check a scan no we won't get anything else so if you take this particular thing also without uh, this particular thing we are able to get the right hand set so we can eliminate this so the final minimal cover will be A determinant D, C determinant A, C determinant B, E determinant A. So this is the final value. Thank you.